Welcome back to my Keep Up channel. Her raunchiest photo shoot yet? Kim Kardashian oils up her bikini body as goes skin on skin with buff male models to promote new schemes range. She is known for pushing boundaries when it comes to daring fashion photo shoots. And Kim Kardashian has certainly turned things up a notch with her latest schemes campaign, which featured her oiled up bikini body being touched up by buff male models. The 42-year-old mogul, who recently revealed her true feelings about ex-husband Kanye West around their children, took to her Instagram on Monday to share some racy snaps from the shapewear brand's upcoming faux leather and scuba swim collection. Kim sizzled in a tiny black faux leather bikini as she laid across the back of a hunky male model. She teamed stylish swimwear with matching shiny knee-high booties and matching clinging gloves, which reached her biceps. The collection drops on Tuesday at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. In another one of the avant-garde snaps, Kim could be seen rocking a string bikini in the same faux leather while laid out on the floor and two models standing over her. In her Instagram story, the star boasted that the upcoming collection features our boldest swim ever for your best summer moments. This comes just a week after she opened up about her scheme's success and reveled that she started thinking about shapewear in her teens. The siren told Time magazine that she used to buy shapewear and dye it with coffee or tea to match her skin tone because the colors that were out there did not look like her olive coloring. The next step was to make shapewears for all women and thus schemes was born. Time launched one of their most influential business covers featuring Kim for schemes on Tuesday. The issue hits newsstands this Friday. Kim admitted that when fame first came knocking on her door almost 20 years ago, she was not sure what to do. At the beginning, when I didn't really understand where my career was going because I was just kind of winging it, I would do licensing deals with a lot of different companies that would contradict themselves, like a cupcake brand with a weight loss pill at the same time, she said. Schemes, which first offered underwear and shapewear but expanded into loungewear, swimwear, tees, and dresses, has changed that and the way the business world sees her. And she was thrilled when Schemes worked out, I feel like, okay, I did it. Schemes by the Numbers, founded in late 2019, Schemes says it made $500 million last year, 25% more than projected and 80% more than it made in 2021 which was up 90% from the year before. So far, 2023 has been a down year for underwear sales, but buoyant for schemes, CEO Jens Greed, who co-founded the company with his wife Emma and Kardashian, says that sales of its intimates increased 86% year over year in April. In its latest round of funding in January 2022, the brand, which is privately held, was valued at $3.2 billion double what it had been valued just nine months prior. Co-founder Jens Greed on Kim, Greed says Kardashian is one of the best creatives he's worked with. To be a successful creative director today, you've got to have a point of view of the world, said Greed. You've got to have a very clear aesthetic that is identifiable to you, and you've got to be able to intimately understand popular culture. When he first showed Kardashian the packaging for schemes, she replied that it didn't look like something you'd find in her home. It went back to the drawing board. It was Kardashian's idea to get Snoop Dogg and his grandkids to do the Christmas campaign and to use the two actresses who played grifters in White Lotus for another. She knows how to orchestrate popular culture, says Greed. Source, DailyMail.co.uk Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.